Hi everybody, in today's video we are going to be looking at two boxes that just showed up. Um, this is an eBay haul. One of them is um, from the UK, which is this one, and one that I bought from a eBayer here in the USA. So let's dive right into this. I think I'm going to start with this one first. Right, let's start off with this one. And as you can see, I cover up the addresses because I don't want to show my information nor to sellers. Double check that. Yep, I think it's already here. I think it looks good. All right, let's see if I can just flip this open. All Very surprising how they shipped this in a shoebox, but uh, eh, I'm not worried about it. I think he kind of wanted to get rid of it, but hey, I kind of don't blame him for it. You can ship it in any box you like, just uh, as long as it protects the packaging. Not quite, just a little bit of tape right there. Okay. Now let's get this open. There we go. It's in here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Hello James. Welcome to my railway. Okay, so before I get James out of this box, I'm gonna move it aside for right now and we'll get to the big part. I, there is a box in here, I promise you, I can feel it. And uh, I put it upside down because all my information shows on here and uh, I kind of don't feel like ripping this thing apart. Just get it, uh, where is the scissors? Here they are. So yeah. I'll try my best not to show any information. is completely out. Good. It's packed in pretty rough box. I guess that's what you get when it ships around in the in the air, does it? I think this this owner mentioned to me there's a hat in here. And he told me I could just start straight away, but uh, oh yeah there is a hat. He didn't mention there's a hat. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. It's just a hat. Oh, well. He didn't mention he accidentally shipped a hat. Yeah. Anyways, I'm not worried about that. Uh, I am kind of happy he did tell me that there's a hat, but, uh, eh, oh well. Let's get into James, shall we? At least I got James. There we go. Ooh, looks like he's packed in a bit modern packaging. Oh, no, it's not modern. It's a bit late. <laughs> it's a bit old, kind of. Here he is. 
Wow, he... He still looks completely brand new. Let's look at the wheels. Not a mark on them. Wow. He still looks like he's never been ran. Let's, let's look at the tender. The tender's a bit heavy. Yeah. It's, it's, it still looks... Again, no mark... Oh, this is a made in China one. Let's look at this packaging. World of Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, it's a made in China version. Right there. Yeah. Oh. Even though I did order, I did order a uh, Hornby Thomas, which mentions the hat, but um, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all right. At least the previous owner did tell me. Yeah, that's that's all right. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, James looks like he's a really he'll be a really a really good runner. Yeah. Let's put him on the track. All right, let's do this. I do hope James runs, even though he looks like he's brand new. Put the tender on first. Now put James on. I swear, with him being OO gauge, he, he still looks small. Oh my God. All right. Ready, James? Ready for your first ever run? Let's see if you'll run. Nope. Tracks are open. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Try and give him one more nudge. Yeah. I think he might need a service. Be right back. Right, I haven't put the whole body on completely on the tender, but um, just in case. <clears throat> I did take some footage of uh, the original motor this thing has. It has the original ring-filled motor, like Gordon has. And uh, I'll take some footage. Of, I uh, took some footage of it, and uh, there it is. So... Yeah, it lets you know what the kind of motor this thing has. But unless, I did oil it. I did put some oil on the gears and the, the commutator, even though it's probably not a good idea to do that. But, uh, hey, you know, it works. Anyways, let's see if uh, it runs. Ooh. Come on, James. He's just moving. I hate to burn the motor out. All right. Right, my mistake. I didn't oil the commutator at all. I thought I did. I'm sorry. And I just tested it. Now watch this. Give it a. He's running all right. Probably let him run around a little bit. Oh, he stopped in me. Come on, James. You can do it. Come on, James. Let's see if the track's dirty over there. I don't know. Comes James. Stopped again. Well, at least he runs all right. Right, it's been nearly two hours since I last saw you, and um, well, James, he does run fine. He runs all right, but he's a bit stuttery. He's worse over there, where. Uh, that, that steel track is. I mean, well, I'm gonna try and demonstrate it. Get him coupled. He runs fine right here. Well, sorta. Usually when he gets to that nickel silver curve, he runs much finer. 
It wasn't until it straights. See, I think you can hear them slow down. See? Well, he made it through fine. Let me try to bring him back. Yeah, you can hear him stuttering. And I think the problem on his performance is this connection. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Come on. Will you focus for me? Hang on. There we go. The problem is this guy right here. I don't even know if it, well, if it's the problem, what's making him perform so badly? But I would try this on Gordon. I even tried Gordon's tender on him since that these guys are both tender driven. And yeah, James didn't perform very well. I even tried um, James's tender on uh, Gordon, and Gordon ran fine. It's just I don't know what's wrong with James. I did try to pinch these two together, but. I'm gonna get a screwdriver. This, if, if it'll focus. This soldering joint, right here, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it because it's not in focus very good. All right, there you, go, you can just see. That soldering joint right there would come off and I would have to re-solder it, so. Yeah, James isn't performing too well as I want him to, but uh yeah, unfortunately, what you just saw is what I'm probably going to have to live with for now. So, yeah. But anyway, get that in focus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Well done for making it to the end. Um, I actually got James to run really good now. Look, he, he can even do a crawl, sort of, even though he has a ring field motor. But yeah, I finally got James to work. And I knew that little connection thing was a problem. So yeah, James is now running happily, happily and freely, if I can get that out of my mouth. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later this time. Now I can say it. Take care, everybody.